everybody, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 8 to 10 days. In today's video, there is signs that we're going to start to see a change in the pattern next week uh, with more unsettled weather starting to come in off the Atlantic, uh, possibly breaking down the high pressure and bringing us cooler and somewhat more unsettled weather, but it may be some time before it turns very unsettled and that's probably towards the end of next week when we may get the remains of Tropical Storm Leslie and that could really uh, start to shake up the pattern. Anyway, just want to talk about the advertising. There will usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at gavsweathervids.com. Please play those video ads you'll be supporting gavsweathervids.com by doing that. So, we're going to start off as we usually do with these 8 to 10 day videos with the 500 of our height anomaly uh, flow. And this is the ECMWF here on the left, but GFS is on the right. Uh, 500 bit of hours, 8 18,000 feet is the important area in the atmosphere because that's where you get high pressure, low pressure developing. And it's really those areas of high pressure and low pressure areas being moved around by the jet stream that runs above them. Uh, that's really what uh, gives us weather. It's more uh, complicated than that, of course, but uh, that in its essence is what weather is. So this is what we're looking at here is the ECMWF uh, 8 to 10 day anomaly for uh, uh, 8 to 10 days obviously. And what we're seeing here is the blue colours uh, which is below average heights uh, that extrapolates into low pressure. The orange colours and red colours is above average heights that extrapolates into high pressure. So we can see that we've got a big trough here in the Atlantic in 8 to 10 days time uh, developing the lines of the jet, is the jet stream uh, that's pushing southwards from Newfoundland into the Atlantic and then going into the British Isles and we've got a trough of low pressure developing that actually that trough is the remains of Tropical Storm Leslie which I was just talking about a moment ago uh, it does look as though that's going to run across the Atlantic uh, in 8 to 10 days time and really start to shake up the pattern so this is quite an unsettled pattern really the jet stream is shifting southwards uh, we've got low pressure in the flow as well bringing really quite unsettled weather if that's right the GFS anomaly is very similar it's not uh, quite as uh, unsettled as the ECMWF actually we've not got that big uh, trough in the Atlantic but even so it's a, a westerly flow we've got the jet stream coming down across the British Isles from Newfoundland running across the Atlantic into the British Isles and Europe so you expect this to be uh, quite unsettled we would be bringing or I think we would be bringing low pressure in off the Atlantic with this not perhaps not a deep area of low pressure uh, but we would be bringing low pressure in uh, nevertheless so it's a cooler more unsettled type pattern uh, for eight to ten days time that's taking us towards the end of next week so the GFS uh, uh, temperature ensembles, we can see that we're actually going to be dipping down a little bit uh, in the next 24 hours. It's going to cool off a bit, temperatures going back towards north. Then as we get towards the weekend, those temperatures will push back up again uh, at a warm uh, weekend to come, very warm weekend. Temperatures possibly up to 25, 26, 27 degrees. But then once we get through to next week, we start to see those temperature lines sinking southwards. Uh, remember red is average for the time of year, these lines will push southwards and uh, uh, push down I should say uh, and what we're going to find is that the temperature does start to cool off uh, quite uh, dramatically really next week um, this is quite a temperature drop coming up for the start of next week if this is right now not all of the runs are dropping down um, but nevertheless a lot of them are and that would be quite a dramatic cool off I think uh, next week if that's correct uh, precipitation spikes also coming back next week no precipitation to speak of uh, for the next uh, for the next few days uh, then once we get through to next week from around the 11th of September onwards that's Tuesday we see those precipitation spikes really coming back and very unsettled then throughout uh, towards the middle and uh, the middle part of September and just beyond that really up to the 19th that's as far as we can go uh, those precipitation spikes do come back so turning unsettled uh, next week so these are the charts from the miles we can see it for the weekend we're actually under this area of high pressure so it will still be fine for the weekend we've got one more fine weekend to come I think uh, to get out and enjoy the sunshine but once we get through 
to uh, Monday the 10th, that high pressure is beginning to slip away in towards the east of Europe. We're bringing down a shallow trough across the country. That's probably bringing showers, uh, maybe some longer spells of rain to the north. Uh, certainly turning more on Saturday if this is right with this trough coming in off the Atlantic. And then once you get through to Tuesday the 11th, well, low pressure to the north of Scotland. Then it's driving the pack. We're in this northerly flow. So that's the reason the temperatures are dropping through the next week. There's the remains of Tropical Storm Leslie as uh, that very, very intense area of low pressure around Newfoundland. That gets caught up in the flow and will run across the Atlantic through next week. So by Friday the 14th, this is 10 days away, uh, we've got that low pressure, the remains of Tropical Storm Leslie in the Atlantic knocking on the door. Uh, we're under this very transient ridge of high pressure actually on Friday the 14th but the low pressure is the thing to keep an eye on because as we get through to Saturday the 15th this is 276 hours away so a long way out we have to be careful about taking it too seriously but the remains of Tropical Storm Leslie uh, coming in off the Atlantic turning it uh, properly unsettled I think we bring rain across all parts of the country and showers following along as well uh, with this westerly wind and that sets us into a very uh, unsettled pattern then uh, for the rest of the, this model run which takes us to around the 19th of September. For the ECMWF again we're under that ridge of high pressure uh, for the weekend so as I say it will be okay for the weekend not too bad at all but once we get through to Monday the 10th the high pressure starts to slip away to the east low pressure begins to move in off the Atlantic that will be taking a band of showers probably across the country so uh, not desperately wet but certainly taking some showers across the country and we're into that westerly flow then so temperatures would be uh, cooling off then we settle into a proper unsettled pattern beyond that so Tuesday the 11th we've got low pressure developing in the Atlantic that's the remains of tropical storm Leslie just coming into uh, view there around Newfoundland going through the rest of the week that low pressure uh, comes in off the Atlantic for Wednesday not sure about that but uh, that will take uh, some showers and rain across the country there's Leslie the remains of Leslie uh, coming through the Atlantic and then by the time we get through to Friday the 14th that's the remains of Leslie just out to the west of Ireland uh, that will be taking an area of rain across all parts of the country with showers well tightly packed ice bath so it would be turning windy and it would be turning a uh, good deal cooler as well once that uh, low pressure has blown through finally the Canadian model the GEM and for a week's time choose to be left we're under this very weak transient ridge but we've got the low pressure to the north of Scotland it's cooler everywhere and more unsettled but by the time we get through to Friday the 14th 10 days away uh, the remains of tropical storm Leslie is to the west of Ireland we're bringing up this strong southerly flow so this is quite a warm uh, direction quite a warm wind but we're taking a band of heavy rain across the country and then we'll, we'll be settling into a cooler flow uh, with sunshine and heavy showers and that low pressure very much dominating and very tight packed ice bars there possibly bringing severe gales uh, to Ireland and western Scotland and uh, beyond that into the weekend of the 15th 16th uh, of September we would be looking at a very unsettled weather with showers or longer spells of rain so it looks over like weather's on the change next week we've got a lot more fine weather to come this week and over the weekend so if you like the fine weather if you like uh, fine late summer weather don't despair we've got plenty of fine weather still to come over the next few days it's getting very warm over the weekend as well but next week the pattern does look like it's changed which is still some time away we've got to be careful about taking it too uh, seriously but uh, certainly it does look as though the pattern is changing next week turning more unsettled as we go through the week turning cooler as well and then the remains of tropical storm Leslie probably coming in at the end of next week uh, bringing us some very unsettled weather indeed that's the plan at the moment i'll be keeping you updated over the next few days it's the five day forecast tomorrow so come back for that but that's all for now thanks for watching